and welcome to another video. Ginger is here today to introduce the video because the video is inspired by her. Yay! All right, so, oh, yeah, she's sleepy. She just woke up from a nap. For those of you who don't know, Ginger is our six-month-old Cavalier King Charles puppy. She is um, a Blenheim puppy. So Cavalier King Charles Spaniels come in four different like color variations. And so her white and reddish brown is the Blenheim. Yes, that's what you are. And so if you look at her, we're going to turn her from the side, you can see that she has mostly a white coat, but she has these reddish brownish blotches. And Cavaliers are known for they're very soft coats of fur. And so she has kind of like these silky, soft, shaggy ears. And you can see her paws. They're starting to get these really long furs on them that are called feathers. Oh, yes, yeah, she's tired. And so we're going to use her colors and shape and the zigzaggy texture today in our drawing to create a very cute puppy drawing. So grab a paper, something to draw and color with, and let's get started. To begin our drawing today, we're going to start with a pencil and we're going to draw the curve of the puppy's head and then another curve where we want the chin to be. And that curve is going to be a little bit more narrow. And so we're going to add in the sides. And you can see how the head's going to be wider at the top and more narrow at the chin. To make it a cute puppy, we're doing some big round eyes. And then we're going to do our smaller circles inside for the eye shine. So one medium and one small in each eye. Then we're going to center the nose and do a round oval nose with a little curved line for the mouth and a couple of eyebrows. All right, the ears, take your time on these. Feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast, but I'm doing some zigzaggy lines to show that the ears are shaggy and that they have a texture. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You're welcome to make super smooth ears if you want to. I'm just trying to make it look like ginger. Add two short lines, one curved line at the bottom to make our collar and then add any shape tag that you want. I just added a round one. You could add a heart, you could add a bone shape, whatever you would like. Now we're going to do the front curve size of the dog. So a curve on either side, almost like a vase, and then two curved lines on the inside to separate the legs and the tummy area. The paws are rainbows and curves, rainbow line, and a curve, and then you can add a couple curve lines to show the individual paws. To show her shaggy chest, we're going to add a little bit more zigzags for the texture. And we'll do it on the side as well. So we're going to add in her back legs as a little bit of a shaggy line and add just little peaks of the back feet. Repeat on the other side. If you don't like how the line looks the first time, feel free to erase it and go back. Ginger's tail is starting to get longer and shaggier and it has a curl on the end. So I draw the curl first and then some more zigzag lines. And there. I'm going to go back up to the head and Ginger's head has a wide white stripe down the middle. So I'm going to kind of draw in those defined spaces. Again, your dog doesn't have to match this drawing. It could be different. Added some Sharpie there, and then I'm gonna grab an eraser and clean up my lines. I made some of the legs a little wider than I wanted to, so I did slim them down when I traced them in Sharpie. After that, I'm gonna select my colors. So I found a reddish brown that will work for Ginger's hair. And I'm gonna color in the ears and that part of her face. And making sure that I'm coloring up and down in one nice smooth direction.
I finished up the drawing by adding a few more patches, colored in her collar and her dog tag. I hope you enjoy working on your puppy drawing.